Namaste, everyone. Welcome to Anchor Light Meditation. Um, I know a lot of you joined us for the Vesak Festival uh, practice, the seven day purification, as well as the actual meditation. So, welcome. I hope that um, you were blasted with lots of good energy and you're using it to bless your friends, your loved ones, and all the different projects that you have. So, before we start, let's ask for blessings, shall we? To the Divine Supreme God, Divine Father, Mother, to all the spiritual elders, holy masters, to all the saints of all traditions. Archangels, Holy Angels, and Spiritual Helpers. Personally, to my teacher, Master Tahok Sui Mahaguji Meiling, we thank you for divine light, divine love. Thank you for your compassionate, purifying light, and soothing, healing energy. We thank you for all the blessings in full faith. And so it is. All right. So just quickly, after the Vesak Festival meditation, uh, at least based on the feedback we got, a lot of you were super energized, probably buzzing. So just a few things to remember, uh, because we have some people who have had expressed some concern of what happened after the meditation. Um, one, some people felt emotional. Some people felt uh, like old stuff came to the surface. And again, let me just reiterate two things. One, every time you meditate, there's a principle of displacement at play. In other words, as energy comes in, higher frequency energy comes in, it displaces lower energies. That's part one. Part two, Especially during the full moon, there's a magnification process. So whatever we have gets magnified. And actually that magnification process is actually part of the cleansing or the displacement. In other words, oftentimes the negative thoughts, negative emotions, whatever it is that blockage is deep inside the chakra. Make sense? It's deep inside your energy centers, uh, energy channels. So in order for it to come out, oftentimes the chakra has to be forced to, to open up wider and the, uh, the channels have to be stretched open. You see, the principle of displacement and the magnification are actually <laughs> part of the whole thing. Because if it's stuck inside, it cannot come out. So obviously, the pipeline has to be bigger, the opening has to be bigger. So as the divine energy comes down, the chakras are being forced to open up more, the channels are more, so it pushes forward. So that's what happens. When stuff is coming up to the surface, right, you're feeling discomfort, and then if that particular chakra has some tendencies of anger and resentment, that also gets magnified because on its way out, you have the dirty energy or the old stuff you want to get rid of, plus the chakra being bigger, then all it comes out at the same time. You go, man, I was feeling fine until I meditated. Right? Some of you experience, very, very few, but I want to address that so that uh, whatever your spiritual practice, not just with us, but other traditions, but every other way, that happens. Anytime you embark on something that accelerates your spiritual development, that will happen. Make sense? So the key is as you join us for continuous meditations and the ones who took our Hare Yoga, if you're doing the consistent purification part, then you're little by little consistently cleaning all those blockages so that when, whenever you do intense spiritual practice, you won't have that explosion. Make sense? You go, well, yeah, you know, that's why I want to go to different techniques and different schools. You can't get away from it. You're welcome to try. I'll see you in a few more lifetimes from now. It is what it is. That's just how the process works. That's why they're called ancient seeds. They're seeds of unresolved issues that are in the aura and the chakras. And you changing technique, meditation, changing schools, changing teacher, doesn't change the fact that that crap has to come out, period. Get over it. You know, people keep giving, giving me excuses. Well, yeah, I do this. Cool. It doesn't happen. It happens. I've tried. But you're welcome to do it on your own. Like, like we always say, I don't babysit. If you don't listen, do it on your own. Go suffer. And then you'll come back and go, yeah, you're right. Because I've been there. <laughs> so, knock yourself out. Clear? The, the secret is to go, okay, this will happen. Because I'm not perfect. I have a lot of old stuff from the past. So, what am I going to do? Let me just, number one, admit the fact that I'm still growing, so I'm going to have stuff come out. Number two, how do I get rid of it with minimal, minimal disruption in my life? Number three, how do I do it consistently so that I can enhance my positive qualities and whatever negative qualities I have can get rid of it? Done. Period. That's the strategy. Without that strategy, you just say, well, I don't like your technique. I'll go somewhere else. Go. I'm not charging anything. I could care less. Clear? 
That's the key. You approach it objectively. You approach it obje objectively. Then if something comes up, you go, ah, okay, this is just my old anger coming up. Oh, I just noticed that my laziness is coming to the surface. Ah, the key is to observe as the soul that these are the qualities I need to get rid of. And every time I meditate, this will come to the surface. Then you add to it a full moon, new moon, whatever moon. Actually, it's not the moon. You know that. It's the sun. Then everything gets amplified. So let me think about this. Uh, what do I want to fertilize and what do I want not to fertilize? Well, I don't want to fertilize all the negative qualities. So, okay, let me systematically get rid of it. What do I, what do I want to fertilize and get stronger? Ah, the good qualities. Once you have that down, then you just matter of systematically get rid of what you don't want and then cultivating what you want. I mean, it's a no-brainer. As they say, it's not rocket science. But the reason people don't do it is because, well, they don't think. They go by feeling. Well, today I feel like this. I feel that. I've said this many, many times. I, get, I have nothing against the astral body. <laughs> nothing. Without the astral body, you cannot express love and compassion because... That's what the astral body is for, to experience feeling. The problem is to have the astral body run your life, you'll guarantee drama, period. Your life's going to go, <laughs> well, if you like it, hey, go for it. Not my style. As I always say, I love drama in the movies, but not in my life. So you have to transcend that, look at it from the mental faculty. From the mental faculty, you have to look at this. Okay, without being emotional about it, what is actually going on? Mm -hmm. Okay, I have these negative qualities, I have these positive qualities. And during the full moon, especially the west up, <coughs> everything goes up. That's why we had the seven-day purification. Now, a lot of you who went through with it, now you realize what I meant. Because we were shoveling crap every single day. But the ones who didn't, well, now you know why it's important. But of course, you have reasons why you didn't. That's why those three nights, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, we did our best to... Um, Show as much as we can, you know, the techniques that you can use, uh, the, qual the things that you need to get rid of, and so on and so on. So at least even though you were not part of seven day, you were able to get the lessons of, you know, right viewpoint, right thoughts, right speech, right action, right livelihood, right spiritual effort, right awareness, right oneness. The Eightfold Path, we compressed in those three nights, so at least you got something to be able to work on. So at least when the full moon hits, you know what to watch out for and what to magnify. Spirituality is not about how you feel. Spirituality is about what needs to be done to make your soul evolve, period. Unfortunately, a lot of people, oh, I get into the spiritual path because it makes me feel good. Making me feel good is a byproduct of proper practice. Write it down. The objective is not make you feel good. Feel good comes from proper spiritual practice. Fear? That's that. It's very simple. That's why when people tell me, why do you feel this? I feel like, I look at them and go, I'll wait another 10 minutes to see how you feel. Then I'll wait another 5 minutes how you feel. It changes like that. But if you have somebody who understands, regardless if I feel good, I feel bad, this is the right thing to do, this is the strategy, then you're good. Long term, you're good. Make sense? So I hope that helps. So whatever you experience, good, hey, that good, that means you clean out a lot of stuff, but you don't stop there. If you didn't have good experience or whatever, understand that it's not the problem is not the full moon. <laughs> Obviously, the problem is not the Buddha. Obviously, not the problem is not the technique. The problem is what? We have stuff to get let go of. It just got magnified. So what do you do? Simple. Examine what what were the feelings, the qualities, the sensations, whatever that were not good that came out. Ah, those are the things I need to work on. Instead of blaming, you say, yeah, I do realize I feel nauseated at that time. So I'm nauseated. Feeling nauseated is because I probably had a lot of anger, resentment I did not release. Okay, I'm going to work on that. That's the way to do it. Instead of saying, yeah, you know, I'm meditating and the higher frequency I am because it's West Africa, I'm so spiritual, I'm so ascended, that's what people are attacking me. Hey, children. Anyway, clear? That's that. So, I hope that helps. Uh, this is just more like a recap <laughs> or, or debrief, as they say. 
you know, it's interesting that uh, when I'm with Tony Robbins, every time he has a seminar, big, small, a lot of people, little people, whatever, he always has a debrief. Immediately after the event, he'll get to the, with his staff. Okay. He would ask like, okay, what went great? What are the challenges? What do we need to improve? Every single time. It's never like, hey, man, it was a great event. Let's go party. Never. He always takes the time afterwards. Let's look at this. That event, what went well? What, went well? what great things happened? Make a note. What are the challenges? What are the things that, we didn't, that came up? And how do we fix it? And last one, yeah, what did we learn from it? That's how his system keeps going up. That's what you call constant, never-ending improvement. And if you can do that for a business enterprise, why won't you do that for something that is permanent, that is your spiritual evolution? Right? Think about it. What went well? What are the challenges? What lesson did we get out of it? If you approach everything you like that, you keep growing. So, no mistake is ever bad. Because every mistake is an opportunity to get better. And I'll finish it with this, then we'll do our meditation. I've shared this with you before. It was said by some great author. I don't know, I forgot this, the guy's name. But I heard it in one of our daughter's uh, <clears throat> uh, award ceremony or graduation. It was like, if, there, if there's a rock in front of you, whether it's a stepping stone or a stumbling block, you know, there's a big old rock, whether it's a stepping stone or maybe some, a stumbling block, depends on how high you lift your foot. The same rock in front of you for a person who has wrong technique, wrong mindset, wrong strategy, is a stumbling block. I mean, they literally, they just... They fall or they look at it and they just freeze. But a person who has the right attitude, right strategy, they go, ah, okay, big rock, huh? Perfect. All I got to do is aim above the rock and from there I can go even higher. So you decide. Are your challenges, your problems, are they your stumbling blocks? Are they boulders in your face? Not in your face, in front of you? Or are they opportunities for you to use a springboard to go even higher. It's all about attitude. That's all it is. That's why, who's that uh, sales trainer many years ago? Ah, Zig Ziglar, that's his name. He says, it's your attitude that determines your altitude. I love it. I, they, they stuck to my head. This was like 30 some years ago. I remember hearing that from one of the sales seminars I went to. Your attitude determines your altitude. I go, no wonder. The people who keep complaining, no wonder they get nowhere. They just make a lot of noise and produce nothing. And there are people who look at, look at everything that happens. Good, bad, terrible, amazing. All of them are opportunities. Those are the ones to rise up to be the best of the best. Which one are you? That's that. Shall we? To the Divine Supreme God, Divine Father, Mother, to all the spiritual elders, holy masters, saints, archangels, holy angels, and spiritual helpers, to my beloved and respected teacher, Master Twakok Sui Maha Guji Meiling, we thank you for divine light, divine love. Thank you for empowering our soul with divine intelligence, divine love, and divine will. Thank you for this opportunity to serve in full faith, so be it. Take your left hand, tap your heart, take your right hand, tap your crown, put your hand like this. Actually, put your hand like this, let's affirm oneness first. I am that. I'm not the body, I'm not the emotion, I'm not the thoughts, I am the soul. I am a spiritual being of divine intelligence, divine love, and divine power. I am connected in one to my higher soul. I am connected in one to the divine spirit in me. I am a child of God. I am one with God. I am one with all. There is only oneness. Be still. You see, we are one. Our hearts are one. Our souls are one. Our spirits are one. There is only oneness. 
Na opinyahan si Blessing. <clears throat> Imagine the earth in front of you. Beware of your heart, beware of your hands. Fill the earth with beautiful pink light. Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Wherever there's hatred anywhere in the world, let me sow unconditional love. Where there's injury, let me sow pardon and forgiveness. Where there's doubt, let me sow faith. Where there's despair, let me sow hope. Where there's darkness, let me sow light, sadness, joy. They say our hearts are one, and in this oneness, may we, may we be utilized as instruments and channels to bring peace, love, forgiveness, hope and faith, light and joy to the entire world. So be it. So be it. Now view every heart, take a deep breath. View every crown, exhale. And just stay there. Just be aware of your crown. Just say, our souls are one. From the heart of God, through our soul, to our entire being, may every person, every being on earth be blessed with love and kindness. May my soul be filled with love and kindness. And let me share it with every person, every being on earth now. So be it. From the heart of God, may every person, every being be blessed with great joy and happiness, with understanding, harmony, and divine peace. Blessings be to all. So be it. So be it. And so it is. Now be aware of your heart, be aware of your crown at the same time. Take a deep breath. Project golden light even brighter than before, filling the entire earth. From the heart of God, through my spirit and through my soul, may every person, every being on earth be blessed. May all beings in every dimension, in the lower worlds, higher worlds, middle worlds, in every direction, every dimension be blessed with God's unconditional love and kindness. Let all be blessed with inner peace, inner healing. May all be blessed with understanding, harmony, goodwill, and the willingness to do good. So be it. Especially channel that energy to Ukraine. Let there be peace. Let there be healing and divine protection. So be it. May the people of Ukraine be blessed. May the people of Russia be blessed. May all the people in the surrounding areas be blessed. May all the leaders in these regions be blessed with wisdom, with love, with kindness with divine connection, so be it. Let there be divine order in this region, so be it. So be it. And so it is. Now lower your hands on your lap. Keep your eyes closed, keep your tongue on the roof of your mouth. Imagine a beautiful golden star floating above your head. Just look at that beautiful star, that beautiful light. Send a stream of love from your heart up to the crown and into that beautiful golden light. Ah. Stay there. You're not the body, you're the soul. You're not your emotions, you're the soul. You're not any of your thoughts, you're the soul. You are a spiritual being of divine intelligence, divine love, and divine power. Your spirit should be of pure energy and light. Be still. Om. into that light. Oh. Be 
still. Be aware of the inner stillness, the inner peace, and divine bliss. Just let go and let things happen. Just let things be. very slowly very gently and slowly come back to your body just gently move your fingers and toes just gently move your body a little bit come back okay raise your hands we're going to release excess energies our bodies cannot absorb visualize the earth in front of you fill the earth with beautiful golden light imagine the people you love in front of you fill them with more golden light May everyone be blessed with divine light, divine love, divine power. May all be blessed with good health, happiness, prosperity and abundance, and spiritual oneness. So be it. So be it. Bless your family, your friends, people you work with. May all be blessed. Now be aware of your feet and the base of your spine. Project golden light down into the earth. Let our beloved Mother Earth be blessed with divine light, divine love, and divine power. Let our beloved Mother Earth be healed, regenerated, and revitalized. Blessings be to Mother Earth. So be it. So be it. And so it is. To the Divine Supreme God, Divine Father, Mother, thank you. To all the spiritual elders, holy masters, saints, archangels, holy angels, and spiritual helpers, thank you. To my beloved and respected teacher, Grand Master Chahok Sri, to his teacher, Maha Guj Meili, and all the high beings, thank you for the blessings of love, light, kindness divine guidance, help, and protection. We thank you in full faith, and so be it. Okay. I hope you had a good meditation. We crank up the energy. Actually, you're still riding the energy for the West. It keeps going. And next month is the Gemini. So that one is the distribution. So you have a uh, full moon of Aries. That's the preparation. The Westak full moon was just a few days ago. This month, that's when the massive amounts of energy pours in and we assimilate as much as we can. And the focus of next month's full moon is the distribution of energy. Although energy is already being distributed, it's just that is the focus. Okay? So thank you very much for joining me. Uh, we will see you tonight in six hours and <laughs> 59 minutes for Anchor the Light Part 2 for this Wednesday. And this Friday, same thing, will be Healing Day. I uh, just want to make an announcement for the entire week, next week, actually, and Monday, um, there will be no Anchor to Light because I'll be traveling to teach in Germany. So um, I'll see if I can do something there. I don't know how the Wi-Fi situation here, there, over there in Germany, the time difference. So for now, let's just say <laughs> we won't be doing it. Um, 
wherever platform you're in, we have these about 700 Anchor Delight videos, easily 700, that you can go back to. And um, each of them have a lesson. We did our best to share some spiritual insights on each one. So that should keep you busy, right? Just go back, relearn, take notes. You know, it's a way for you to keep growing. And uh, you know, now that traveling is opening up, I'll be teaching more in person, traveling and all that stuff. So we just have to adapt with it. And if I can do it there, uh, rest assured I will. Um, if not, then we just have to work with what we have. And then I'll be back the following week uh, to, to resume Anchor Delight. All right? So let's just play that by ear. I know all of you uh, have been growing with these teachings, and I, I'm very grateful that my teacher's teachings can go to you in this platform, in this format. Um, we just have to adapt with what's in front of us. So namaste, everyone. You all take care, and we will see you in the next session tonight. God bless. Bye-bye.